Hello guys, Softony here and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial where we're going to create a mind-blowing warp transition. We will make this super easy step by step. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. You can use this transition to enhance the look of your videos, slideshows, intros and so much more. So, without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as you can see I already have my final warp transition composition. This is our media 01 and this is our media 02. Just make sure that our media 01 duration is to around 1 second and media 02 rest of the composition. This is 4 seconds long, 30 frames per second, full HD. Okay, now let's create our awesome animation. Go right click, find here new adjustment layer. We will rename it to motion tile like so. And then go here in the facts and preset and if you can find it just go window and hit here to find it. Okay, now type here motion tile like so, drag and jump onto our adjustment layer and for the output width and height type 800. Okay, now our next effect is going to be transform like this, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and also let's animate our position parameter. Go here at zero frames and set up our first keyframe for position then go to around two seconds and you can move this x parameter on the left or on the right side i will go here to around 6000 maybe around 200 or 720 something like this you can also type specific number here like so and now when we hit zero we have this basic animation now click here again hit u on your keyboard grab all of our keyframes hit F9 for easy ease, go to graph editor, if you can't find curve like this, just go right click, find edit speed graph, then go here to around one second, set up our playhead and let's draw a curve like this. This second one and this first keyframe like so. And now when we hit zero, this is looking even better than before. Okay, our next step is to enable our motion blur, hit here to enable it and just hit also here on our adjustment layer to enable our motion blur. And now in our final scene, we have this cool motion tile animation. Okay, now let's add our another adjustment layer here in our scene, go right click, find here new adjustment layer again, we will rename it to warp, then go again here in the effects and preset, find warp effect, drag and drop onto our warp adjustment layer, go to zero frames and set up our first keyframe for bend, type here zero, then go to one second, type here 100 and then go to two seconds and type here again zero. For the warp style you can play around with different options, for this particular tutorial let's try twist, okay, and then hit U again on this warp adjustment layer and Select all of our keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease, go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. Also for the second keyframe, like so. And now in our finals, when we hit zero, we have this really awesome and really cool animation. And now let's add our third adjustment layer, go right click, find adjustment layer again. We will rename it to exposure like so go again here in the facts and preset again and find exposure effect drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and also go at zero frames set up our first keyframe for exposure go to one second type here two and then go again here on two seconds and type here zero and now in our finals we have this really really cool transition in every moment you can hit on this warp adjustment layer and play around with the options, try maybe fish eye, you will see different results and this is looking really awesome. Let's try maybe arc lower, everything is up to you to play around to get results that you want. Also in exposure, if you see over brightened image, just lower down this second keyframe, hit U and instead of two, maybe hit one. Play around with the option until you're satisfied with the final results. 
All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. This was easy to create transition. Hope you learned something new, like always. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. Also, use this transition in your own videos, in your own projects. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.